Hey guys, Willy Wonka and a racially diverse Equal Opportunity Chocolate Factor here with another video. Today in my new apartment hunt limbo, I've been relegated to filming this video in this office. Um, honestly, I don't know how I got here and I'm a little bit scared. If you're scared too, you should check out my merch. Look fresh and support the channel. Uh, the link is in the uh, description or you can even look under the video. They should have like a little tag on that where you could click and buy this hoodie and or other pig cake merch. Um, pig cake hat coming soon. That's right, I'm my own sponsor because I don't need a man in my life. Anyways, today I'm gonna show you guys an interesting trick using an old force that'll hopefully inspire you not only to finally shower, but also go out there and do some magic. I want to hurt myself. So let's stop the rattle and get right into the saddle. So I brought together a culturally diverse who's who and racially sensitive crew of people to watch this particular trick, including one of questionable ethnic origin. So for this trick, we're gonna be using these uh, bicycle air cushion finish playing cards. The name, as far as the uh, box is concerned, is the, um, the air cushion finish playing cards. So you could definitely look out for that at your local store. Uh, and we're gonna be using this deck to show all four of you guys are participant because even though we have three here, you're a participant as well, sir, ma'am. Uh, so for this, this is a uh, shuffle deck, any deck, anytime, anywhere. And uh, we're going to show the participants that we have uh, different cards here. We have options. They could call stop anywhere they want. Uh, so let's say this one here, call stop. Stop. Good job. Good. Oh, this card's face up. <laughs> but right there, sir, please remember your card. I'm sorry, ma'am. Uh, you just look the same as a sir. I'm just going to shuffle through here. Call stop. Stop. Pick son. Good eye. Very nice. A little bit of sudden there. And then you, ma'am. Um, we're going to call you Rosa. Rosa. Uh, Rosa P. Call stop anywhere you want. Oh, hell nah. Right there. Go ahead. Please remember your card. And uh, I did mention that you were going to see a card as well. So you call stop. I want to hurt myself. Oh, that was early. Must be because I'm a magician. Go ahead and look at the card. Uh, sir, ma'am. So uh, here is the uh, magic portion of this trick. With a snap of my finger and a gentle PG slap of the deck. Yeah, you like that, don't you? All your cards are now magically gone. See, look, if we look through the deck, we see. You don't see your card anywhere here, do you? Neither do you. Or you. Or you. Because your card is gone. We'll do this again. See, look. No cards here. None whatsoever. This is getting interesting. How about over here? None. None of you guys see your cards. Uh, none of you guys can see, as a matter of fact. And then lastly, over here, all the cards are completely and utterly gone from the deck. Nowhere to be seen. But alas, here's the magic portion of this. Because I'm going to make your cards magically come back to the deck. All your cards are magically going to come back to the deck. We saw that they all vanished. I'm going to make it come back to the deck again with the same gentle slap. Mm. Yeah, you like that, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you take that. And see, look. All the cards have turned over face down in the deck. Um, all the cards have turned face down in the deck. That's kind of odd. That's There's only one card. How about this? How about all of you guys name your card at the same time? Go ahead. One, two, three. Everyone names the card and they all say, I want to hurt myself. The seven of spades. That's odd. All of you guys pick the same card. Hmm. You don't think... Oh yeah, and of course it happens to be the seven of spades. Oh boy, what a magical life we live. Uh, thank you guys. Oh, hey there, hey there. I'm sure you wanna learn how to do that piece of prejudice dictation. Well, luckily for you, all you need is just a wholesome ounce of virginity and you'll be able to accomplish that easy feat. So for this, you're going to need a deck of cards that is mixed and shuffled and can be uh, any sort of deck. doesn't even have to be one of these complete decks. It could be one of those uh, decks you find on, um, on a windowsill on your, your nanner's house. 
Uh, but for this, you're going to turn to a participant and you're going to do a little bit of a subtlety by Ed Marlowe uh, to show, supposedly, they have many different options when you do the uh, Hindu shuffle. So that's just going to be uh, the first little thing that you're going to do. And the way we do that is, of course, you needing to know the Hindu shuffle. Oh boy, if there was only a repository of moves, tricks, slights, theory, and magic that you could go to. But let's just be simple here. First thing you're going to do is the uh, Hindu shuffle. So you're just going to be taking packets of cards from the top, just like this, as if you were playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, actually, if you were playing Yu-Gi-Oh, it'd be more like this. But here, you're going to be grabbing the cards from the uh, short end with your right hand and using your left hand to just draw packets of cards from the top. Now, if you want to do the subtlety, you're going to show the bottom card. Next, you're going to use your, your middle and thumb of the left hand to just grab the small packet and drop it on top of the cards in the left hand as you take the next pile and you could shuffle off. Now at this point, you could turn over the pile and show that there is a different card and you could repeat this, but this is just a little bit of a subtlety by Ed Marlowe to be able to show different cards and uh, to trick the spectator into thinking that they have actual different options, uh, but they don't. So when you're done doing that little bit of a display, you're gonna turn to one participant. You could do this up to, uh, I would say four until uh, everyone wants to end themselves. Uh, but you're going to turn to one participant and you're going to have them call stop anywhere they want. Let's say they call stop over here. All you're going to do is just show them the bottom card. You see that? That's the Hindu shuffle force. So you're going to show them the bottom card. Next, you turn to another spectator, have them call stop and show them the exact same card because it's the, um, that's what your, the force is. That's the, you see the, the ingenuity here. Now it's important that they don't know which card they picked. So this spectator doesn't know this spectator's card, this spectator doesn't know this spectator's card because they're all picking the same card. So if they know that they all pick the same card, this kind of ruins it. So you want to make sure to isolate them and then say, sir, uh, just call stop right here. Go ahead. Uh, you, sir, call stop right there. Go ahead. And you're showing them all the same card. Uh, so you're going to do this for as many spectators as you want. But ultimately, whenever you have run out of people uh, with the patience of Job in order to sit through one of your magic performances, you're going to drop the remainder of the deck on top of the rest of the cards and keep a pinky break separating both halves. You see that? Then you're going to make a magic gesture towards the deck saying that the cards are going to disappear. All the cards are going to disappear. Now at this point, you're going to grab approximately half the cards above your break and turn them face up and show them to each participant asking them if they could see their card. Now, of course, the answer is going to be no, because their card is here. All of their cards is right here, which is the lowermost card of your break. So now at this point, you're going to square this up and drop this face up half on the table. The next one, you're going to spread all the way to your break and turn over all the cards above the spectator's card. So here is your break. Here's the spectator's card. I'm going to spread all the cards above the break. Coalesce that card, maintaining the break as I turn over all the cards above it and ask the spectators one more time if they could see any of their cards. Of course, the answer is going to be no. At this point, when you square up the deck, you're going to lift up all the cards, including secretly the card at the back. Oh boy, you see the hot secret here. Now you could place this on the uh, remaining of the deck on the table. You could do the exact same thing two more times. So now you're going to turn over half of the remaining cards in your hand, show it to the spectators, square it up, and lastly, turn over the remaining cards and show it to all the spectators, showing them that their cards have magically disappeared. All four cards gone from the deck. And now at this point, the spectators are going to be astonished, bewildered, befuddled, Asian. And um, you're going to say, look, I'll bring them back. I'll just bring them back with a little bit of a magic gesture. All we have to do is just grab uh, one of these. We grab one of these. Lord knows where this has been, but uh, we're going to use it uh, for this particular effect. And you, you hit the deck and you say, all your cards have now been brought back, but this time they've turned face down in the deck. So your cards have been turned face down in the deck and have magically reappeared. So you're going to spread through the deck and see, oh, wait, um, I don't see any face down cards. Oh, there's only one face down card. That's kind of weird. Wait, you don't think in the count of three, I want everyone to name the card that they're thinking of out loud. And here you're going to tell the spectators what I just told you guys. I want everyone to name their card on the count of three. Of course, when uh, they all name their card, they're going to find that they all name the exact same card, in this case, the 10 of clubs, which is going to be a nice little bit of a magic moment. Let it marinate, let it resonate, because now you're going to turn this card and turn it face up and everyone 
it's going to applause emphatically. And you might even get a little bit of a touching, you know what I mean? You might get some, uh, some friction um, between you and the other participants. So that's always, a, that's always a good thing for everyone. So that's a trick. It's a little bit of a Hindu shuffle for us. It's, uh, it's the invisible deck. You're uh, playing with this idea of making the cards vanish from the deck. It's really a fun trick and something you could do for um, a small group of uh, Episcopalians. So make sure to do that trick justice. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm going to go and uh, figure out different ways to ingest a small tree monkey um in an office in an office when i see you again 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 Let it shine, let it shine